Hello and welcome back to another Create 8. Today I will create 8 cards using products from the latest release by my favorite things and there is a video where I am showcasing the whole release that you can find if you click the I icon. Of course you will find a link at the end of this video. So I am starting with the first card and I will be using uh, the stamp set that's called Martini Time. I have stamped the glass that uh, reads Martini in three different colors and I'm going to stamp a little lemon as well as an olive. Then I will use the matching dies to cut out everything and now I can put together my card. I have this uh, striped uh, white and black striped pattern paper and I'm placing on top a white panel and then I will uh, stick on top all my Martini glasses. I am going to place them in a row so I'm just trying to decide where everything is going to go there and to stick everything down I'm using foam squares at the back just to add uh, some dimension I'm also going to embellish all those martini glasses one of them will have the olive and another one will have the lemon now in the martini stamp set there are a bunch of uh, really fun sentiments and uh, for this card I decided to go with the one that says one martini, two martini, three martini floor. I think that's really hilarious and it really makes a fun card. I'm going to stamp that with black ink and I'm going to finish off my card by adding some dots with my clear nouveau drops. And that completes the first card. Here is a close up look and a couple of photos. For my next card I'm going to work with a stencil from a previous release by my favorite things. This is called Framework I believe and I'm going to ink up uh, my white cardstock there using Distress Oxide inks. Just because I want to have a subtle look and I don't want to over uh, saturate my background I am using my Tim Holtz blending brushes which are available by the way now you will find links down below. I am working with three different colors of uh, Distress Oxide inks and you can see the colors on your screen right now and as you can see I only have one brush for each family co of colors so I don't uh, use three different um, brushes for uh, different shades of red etc just seven of them are uh, way more than enough and here is my beautiful background. I really love this color combination. It looks really fresh and summery. So I'm going to trim off the edges just to make it slightly smaller than the standard card. And I'm going to use the Margarita Shaker Window and Frame. These are dies that cut out this Margarita glass as well as the inside. And they came up with uh, those pouches, the plastic pouches that fit uh, perfectly fine inside that glass, which makes uh, the perfect... Um, elements to add your shaker mix inside. I think these are really fun and there is also a martini glass if you want to use that instead of the margarita. And now my glass is ready to go. I will first uh, add some inking on uh, the back of my glass so for that I'm using again squeezed lemonade which is actually one of the colors that I used for the background. Again I'm not oversaturating anything I'm just applying a little bit of color and this is really easy to do with the brushes because they don't apply too much color. And here is another fun product that has just been released by MFT. These are little uh, plastic cubes, they are transparent as you can see and they look exactly like ice cubes. So I have placed those inside my glass, now I'm going to secure the back. I'm using there some um, double sided tape, I will not peel off the bagging, I'm just using, the, using it as a scotch tape to secure those pieces together. Now I have used some uh, satin silver cardstock to cut out the word cheers. This is from a die that has been released a few months ago by MFT. And I have also cut out one more uh, frame for my margarita glass out of the same cardstock. And of course I could have used the silver cardstock all the way from the beginning to cut out my margarita glass but I didn't thought of that at that point so I just cut it out and stick it on top at the end. For the next card I'm using the Hello Little One stamp set. This is perfect for uh, sending wishes to a mom-to-be or to a newborn child. I'm going to stamp a couple of images, color them with my uh, alcohol markers and then cut them out with the matching dies. 
I also used the new scallop cross stitch tag to cut out this tag and you can also remove that um, cross stitching from the inside and cut it out as a simple tag. I decided to leave it as it is because it uh, creates a really, really lovely background. It's quite subtle but also adds some interest. Now I'm uh, going to thread some uh, silk ribbon and I'm going to tie that with uh, a blue floss. I try to find the floss that uh, matches the colors of uh, my card. And I'm going to stick this tag on top of a card base. Again, I found a card base that matches the blue on my card. So everything is uh, nice and neat. I'm going to finish it off by adding some white Nouveau drops in different areas, just randomly there, because I'm addicted to those Nouveau drops. And my card is ready. For the next card I'm using one of my favorite uh, stamps for um, every month. The Pure Innocence uh, Collection Little Girls are uh, definitely a favorite and I make a card every month with those. I have stamped her and colored her with my alcohol markers. And now I'm using one of the backgrounds that um, has just been released. This is full of uh, little dots and I'm going to add uh, some of the dots only at the center of my panel. I didn't want to cover it up completely, I just want to have something at the back of my little girl. Now I looked through my stash to find a cardstock, a red cardstock that matches the color of uh, the red dress that I used for my little girl and I have cut out a frame which I'm going to stick uh, directly on top of my panel and I have also used the new die that uh, writes uh, happy birthday when you cut it out and I will use all those uh, little letters to write my message. And to make my life easy, I am using the negative space so that I can uh, place everything nicely and neatly on top of my card. I'm adding my glue, white glue at the back and then I'm going to add all those letters there. Now these are going to fit nicely inside and then you can peel off that uh, mask and everything will be nice and straight. I really love this uh, little girl, it's one of the best they came up with, just because it's holding uh, flowers, it is so versatile and you can use it for so many different occasions. I have added some uh, foam tape at the back of my girl, I'm going to stick here on top of my card. Really clean and simple design, but so striking and I really love this girl. Now to finish it off I'm going to add some uh, clear nouveau all over the letters, which is going to turn them dimensional and glossy. Now for the next card I'm using this glitter paper, this is actually a Nouveau product by Tonic Studios and I'm going to add uh, one of uh, my frames along with the happy birthday die again. This is really versatile, I really love the font, the size of it, I think it's perfect for your birthday cards and it's a die that you will be using again and again if you invest and buy it. And to embellish my birthday card, I decided to go with those new mini rolled roses. These are in two sizes, as you can see, a smaller and a larger one. I have cut out two of the small die and one from the larger one. And now I'm going to wrap them all around. The easiest way is to use your tweezers to hold uh, the beginning. Start wrapping from the outside all the way towards the inside and when you reach the end use your hot glue gun, use fabric glue or uh, glue dots like I'm using here to secure that bottom in place. And remember the easiest way is uh, to use your hot glue gun but I was too lazy to turn it on so I'm just using my glue dots and they worked just fine. So here is my little uh, flower, I'm going to repeat the same process for the other two. And I'm going to put everything together. I'm using again glue dots. Again, I told you I was too lazy to bring out my uh, hot glue gun. So I'm working with what I have on my table. But again, these glue dots do the trick. They hold up uh, really nicely. They are very sticky and these uh, flowers will never fall off the card. Now I have also used some dies from a previous release to cut out those uh, leaves, as you can see that I have on my table. And I used the same glitter cardstock as I did for my panel. So they are nice and shiny. I'm using my Nouveau Deluxe white glue to stick those uh, leaves around my flowers. 
and embellish my panel and then once this is ready I'm going to stick it on top of a standard card that matches the color of my felt. And again I'm using my white glue at the back to stick this panel on top. Now I haven't uh, thrown all those inside pieces from the letters so now that uh, my panel is in place I am going to take my time and stick all those little pieces inside the letters such as A, B, D, etc. Of course you can leave the sentiment as it is, you don't really need to bother to add all those little pieces since the sentiment is quite readable as it is. And finally to finish off my card I am adding some uh, white pearls that I had in my stash. These are self-adhesive and they make the perfect center for my flowers. Moving on to the next card, I'm going to stamp the elephant from the Safari Party stamp set. And I'm going to pair this elephant with the balloon alphabet. This comes with all the letters of the alphabet in capital, as well as a couple of balloons that are empty. They don't cut out letters inside, as well as lots of little strings. I'm going to cut out only two of those that read the word hi. And I like that the trunk of the elephant uh, is uh, lifted so I can tie those balloons as if he is holding them. So anyway, that was the main idea. So here I am creating a panel and I'm using one of the cloud stencils that has been released uh, previously. I am turning my stencil around so that I can create different shapes and I'm using my distress ink of tumbled glass. And as I go towards the bottom, I apply less ink with less pressure, so I end up having a lovely ombre look of clouds. Now, I'm not going to use the whole width of this panel, I just had to make it quite big so that it was manageable for me. So I have cut it out to be even thinner and I am adding some foam tape at the back. I have also matted with uh, black cardstock so you will see that once I turn it I do have a thin border on each side. I'm going to stick it on one of my black and white uh, stripped uh, paper and I'm going to stick my elephant on top. So now I have uh, the balloons in yellow and uh, green cardstock and I'm going to pack them with those uh, balloons that uh, don't cut out letters so those letters are easy readable at the front. And I'm going to stick those on top of my panel and I'm going to use uh, some uh, black pen to draw the strings. I'm also going to add some shine on the balloons by using my Nouveau shimmer pen and my card is finished. For my next card I'm going to create a Father's Day card. I am going to use the large, uh, the capital uh, letters of uh, the die and I'm going to place it on top of a panel. I am securing it with some purple tape, run it through my Big Shot and I'm going to repeat the same process two more times. I want to make sure that everything is going to be nice and straight so I'm using my T ruler there. And in between the first and the second cutout, I want to have enough space to stamp a sentiment. Now this is going to be a very clean and simple uh, design, perfect for dads and a really great masculine card. I have used the same die to cut out the word dad using three different uh, shades of blue, all the way from darker to lighter. And now I'm using this piece of uh, paper which I am covering it completely with tape adhesive. I'm going to use this to back up my main panel and this is uh, going to make sure that where those letters are it's going to be sticky so I can stick all those letters inside. I found that that was the easiest way to do that and I haven't thrown the inside from the letters D, A and D. So I have everything on the side there and I will use those to add them inside so everything is going to end up completely flat and I love this uh, inlay die cutting technique because you end up with beautiful results looking really professional. 
I'm going to stamp the sentiment and this comes from the All About Dad stamp set. This is packed with sentiments for dads and I think uh, it's uh, one of those stamp sets we will be using again and again every year. I went with Euroc but you can use any of all those different options. And now let's move on to the last card for today. This is going to be really crazy, a crazy flamingo party card. I am uh, using those three flamingos. These come from the Let's, F let's Flamingle stamp set. I am stamping them a couple of times. And uh, I'm also going to stamp uh, from the same stamp set the umbrella, the martini glass and the little lemon. I'm going to color everything with my alcohol markers, cut them out by using the matching dies. And you can see here a fine detail, I am stamping inside those glasses some ice cubes. Now I have colored everything and cut them out and I'm going to work on my white panel to create a background for uh, my flamingo party. For that I'm using one of the stencils that has just been released, the one which is packed with uh, different sizes of uh, circles and I'm going to create different circles all over my place so that I can nest my flamingos on top. Again, just because I want to have a quite subtle look at the background, I'm using my blending brushes instead of my blending uh, tools. I am moving my stencil every time, switching to different sizes of circles and to using different uh, colors. Now, I am also using some masking tape to make sure that I don't go outside of uh, the circles and not uh, blending all over the place just to keep everything nice and neat. Also make sure that you clean up your stencil before you move on, otherwise you might easily uh, uh, transfer some of that ink in different areas that you want to keep clean. And now I have my panel ready. I am going to add my flamingos on top. Each of those flamingos is going to go on its own little circle. And I'm going to add uh, for every one of those a little martini glass. I am keeping everything completely flat, so I'm sticking everything down with uh, my white glue or my tape adhesive. I know that this design would look awesome if I used uh, foam squares at the back, but I didn't want to bother with uh, tiny little uh, pieces of uh, foam squares at the back of all those glasses and the tiny lemons, etc. So I kept everything flat. But I'm going to add dimension by adding foam tape at the back of the whole panel as I stick it on top of my card base which I chose to be black so that it brings and helps all those uh, colors to pop even more. For my sentiment I went with have a flamazing day which I white embossed on a piece of black cardstock and I'm going to finish it off with my favorite nouveau drops. These are clear nouveau drops and I'm adding them randomly all over the background. So my last card for today is finished. Here are some close-up photos. And now let's take a quick look on all the eight cards that I made for today using products from the latest release by my favorite things. It's a really fun release. I am really happy with the outcome. I absolutely adore these cards and I had so much fun creating them. I hope you had fun watching too. So here are some close-up photos of all the cards that I made for today. Don't forget that I have also filmed a video where I am uh, showing you a close-up look on all the products released for the month of May. You can check this out, you will find the link at the end of this video. And as always you will find a full list of supplies with links to different online shops down below in the description area as well as on my blog. Thank you all so much for watching, don't forget to like this video, to subscribe if you haven't done so already and to leave me a comment and let me know which one of those 8 cards was your favorite.